What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Knows channel. Today, I am answering a viewer question. The question comes from Steve. Mike, if you could only do one exercise to maintain or even gain muscle mass, what would that exercise be? I'm super busy at home and at work, and I wanna make sure I'm spending my time effectively. Steve, great question and a very easy answer. The number one exercise I would perform is followed by this promo from thedolcediet.com. Go to thedolcediet.com right now, click the link below, start the four week and 12 week personalized diet and exercise program to get in the very best shape of your life. Plus, I'm going to give you a 25% discount right now with promo code SUMMER SHRED, all one word. Take a look. Now, the number one exercise I would perform is validated not just from bros in the gym, but from the pencil necks in the lab. Every piece of data has clearly shown the squat. Every variation of the squat, the barbell back squat, the front squat, the goblet squat, the body weight squat has a massive impact on the development of lean, healthy, functional muscle tissue across the entire body, but also improving your hormonal and biochemical state. What does this mean? If I were to just do bicep curls, that would add a little bit of strength to my arms, but it wouldn't do much for the rest of my body. The rest of my body would atrophy. Scientists have done multiple studies focused on just the back squat. Performing the back squat at proper loads with proper intensity at proper intervals has shown an increase in chest size and arm size, even when the chest and arms were not trained. Having that type of of resistance. The, the, and my buddy Stan Efferding, the world's strongest bodybuilder, had said, in his opinion, the most effective exercise is one that maximally loads the spine. That would be the deadlift. That would be the squat. That could actually be the overhead standing barbell press. And by coincidence, those are my three favorite exercises. If I could only pick three exercises, they would be the squat, the deadlift, and the standing overhead military press. Let's keep to the squat right now. How many reps and sets and percentage of one rep maximum should you perform? Which squat specifically? The barbell low bar squat, the barbell high bar, bar squat, the barbell front squat, the goblet squat, the zercher squat, the Jefferson squat, the hack squat. What about lunges and split squats? Oh my, there's so many variations of the squatting motion. My strong suggestion is you perform all of them. Perform all of them, get really good at them, have a training journal in which you track your results. You write down exactly what weight you use, how many repetitions you use, and the rest between sets. Also, how good you felt your form was and compete against yourself. If you have the ability, the low bar powerlifting style barbell back squat is the granddaddy of squatting. You can use the most amount of weight with the low bar powerlifting style wider stance back squat. You can also and should also use the Olympic style higher bar closer stance back squat. You should also use the CrossFit style, we'll call it, but it is an Olympic style lift more commonly seen in CrossFit gyms now is the front squat. Also, when you're learning how to squat, you have some motion, range of motion issues, or you're over 35 years old, I would say you probably want to start transitioning more towards the goblet squat, which is holding a kettlebell on your chest, or walk moving into a walking lunge, or the split squat and the Bulgarian squat. These are all great exercises that you should be rotating through your training protocol. How many sets and reps? Great question. The barbell back squat, the low bar squat, that's typically performed for three to eight repetitions. Ideally, it is more of a powerlifting brute force exercise. The Olympic squat, high bar squat, that again can be trained slightly lighter, but still in that three to eight repetition range. Although I know many great athletes who have trained that upwards of 12, 15, 20 reps or more. What I would strongly suggest, if you are not a competitive power lifter, I would suggest you keep your squatting reps over 10, shooting towards 20. If you're performing sets of 20 repetitions 
in the barbell, low bar back squat, high bar back squat, front squat, goblet squat, and also walking lunges and single leg Bulgarian split squats, you will be a force to be reckoned with with rippling muscles all over your body. When I was a younger man, I trained as a power lifter, very high weights, very low repetitions, and I got really strong. I also have many injuries today that I would not have if I was not using such heavy weights for such low reps. The coach that I am today, I don't like to see such reckless abandon with regards to pushing heavier and heavier loads and lower and lower repetitions. I want to see slightly lighter weights trained to a much higher intensity with more repetitions. You will grow more lean, healthy, functional muscle tissue that way. You will likely have better joint mobility that way. You will likely stay injury-free, which keeps you in the gym longer, which allows you to keep making more gains. Take that information for what you will. But ideally, I see the, and you look at all the greatest power lifters, a guy like Tom Plax. Tom Plax, world renowned for his amazing quad development, lower body leg development. Tom Platt said he trained the squat almost exclusively with very high repetitions, 20 rep sets. Your, your legs don't even start working until you're past 10 repetition. And I do agree with that. The guys I know with the biggest legs are the guys who squat the highest number of repetitions, not so much the highest number of or the highest amount of weight on the barbell. I appreciate you guys for being here. If you stayed this long into the video, please subscribe to this channel. Bing, bing, give us a little thumbs up. I appreciate you being here. Also leave a comment below for the algorithm, but ask me any questions. Just like this video, these videos are driven by you and your questions. Leave questions below. I will answer them live on here. It gives me ideas for great content and it will help this channel grow. Thank you so much for hanging out. And until next time, boom.